Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Mr. I Try Hard, and I want to start off by saying that this commentary is for fun. So if you take things, you know, too seriously and you, you don't know how to have fun, then this video is not for you, but... Oh, I gotta set up this gameplay first. Demolition gameplay on Nuketown. I know you guys don't really like Nuketown, but this is a good objective game where I play the objective and I win. Of course, I win. We always win. My fucking win-loss is like a 10. Well, it's like a 9.9, .9, but whatever. But yes, this video is for shits and giggles, so I hope you guys enjoy this, but I am Canadian, alright? And I play with, you know, I think 90% of the people I play with are American. And I get a lot of shit thrown at me, you know, like fucking people are calling me like an Eskimo or saying that we sell, like all we do is fucking play hockey, fight and sell ice and drink beer. And while that's not entirely false, it's not entirely true either. And... If you guys are following Woody's gamer tag on Twitter, you you probably see his tweet today. That well, today uh, today is what are we Wednesday? Um, he tweeted a conversation he had on Skype with Bash and T Mart and a bunch of other guys, and they were basically just getting on Bash because Bash was saying that he wanted to go to to the uh, University of Toronto, and they were like, "Oh, do they have igloo construction over there? And you know, are the roads covered in ice so you can ice skate there?" And man, you Americans are are you know you guys can dish it, but can you guys take it? Because I can lay out the worst fucking things about Americans. Like, like, all right. I went to Anaheim, California once before we watched it. We, I'm, I'm a big hockey fan, so we went to watch the Anaheim Ducks play. And we went to the hockey rink there. And I swear to God, I was 16 years old at the time. And I probably weighed, I don't know, maybe 130, 140 maybe at 16. I was pretty, uh, pretty small. And, um. I swear to God, the the benches, like 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 this, just the seats you 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 sat in to watch the hockey game, they were like twice the size of me. <laughs> and we went to this outlet mall where where they sold like oversized clothes for for you know big dudes. And the fun that I had was I picked out the biggest shirt was like a seven or eight x large, and I would try to fit as many friends as I could in it. I had four friends, we were all in it, and then some. You know what I mean? So so you guys. You guys like to dish it out, and you guys are pretty confrontational about a lot of things. I mean, you guys are, you know, military power, blah, blah, blah. But see, us us Canadians, we're, we're really cool about things. You know, we, we don't get angry a lot. We don't, we, we don't rage. We don't like wars. We just like to, you know, be cool with everybody and nice pistol kill right here. You know, see, if, if Saddam Hussein... No, no, wait, no. Yeah, we probably could would have kicked his ass too because, man. Now, see, the whole oil scandal. Yeah, I guess I could. I mean, I'm not really good with American culture, but all I can say is that we probably wouldn't have been so aggressive about it. We probably would have called them, been like, "Yo, what's up? We need your oil. You know, is there a way we can work this out?" And they probably would have would have said no, which probably would have ended up being. Another war, I guess. So I guess I'm, because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking while while I'm saying this, I, I, I guess both, both ideas actually get to the same point, right? You guys just charge with your head down and you know shoot and think, think second, I guess. While we're more, you know, cool about things, we 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 like to maybe think things through a little bit more, I guess. And I, I'm not saying that that <clears throat> one one way is worse than the other because. It obviously isn't because, you know, the U.S. is, is a successful country. Canada is a successful country. And don't say it's not. I, I know I'm going to get so many comments saying, oh, you igloo building wigwam, whatever. But you know what? Man, I want to see I want to see my, my, my Canadian viewers because apparently I have like 30-something percent of Canadian viewers on my on my YouTube channel. So <clears throat> if you're Canadian, type it into the, to the description right here. And... Uh, Tell me where you're from, man. If you're from, you know, Manitoba or Alberta or... You know what? Actually, I want to know where everybody's from. And I want to know how far you are. Like, like if you think you're far from me, I'm from Montreal, Quebec. So, that, that's up north in Canada. Like I said, about 50,000 times. But if, if you guys are from Europe, I want to hear from you guys too. I want to know my demographic. You know, like... Because cause it... Apparently it says I have 2% females and uh, like most of you guys are, are between the ages of I think it's 15 and 17 or something like that. And I want to know who I'm talking to. So 
I don't know how this commentary got from demographics. No, no, from from uh, me joking about the U.S. to fucking trying to know where my subs are from. But that's what I do. I ramble on from shit and pick up this MP5K, which is terrible, by the way. Don't use the MP5K. It bounces like a motherfucker. Oh, I was trying to do one fucking commentary without swearing, and I just swore twice in the same phrase. God, I'm so terrible at this. <laughs> but man, all right. So, so tell me where you're from. Tell me how old you are. Yeah, tell me how old you are and where you're from, and what else do I want to know about you guys? That's basically all. I don't want to, you know, don't give me your address or something. Just tell me, you know, my name is Steve. I'm 24, and I come from, I don't know, New York, New York. Because, you know, I, a bunch of New Yorkers are up to me for some reason. I guess it's from verbal. Oh, last thing I gotta say. FNG Podcast. I forgot to say it in my last commentary. It's up. Uh, Juicer couldn't make it last time. He had some things, so we're going to have him on next week. But we had Drifter, who saved our asses and was on. He was a great guest. So Drifter is going to... No, he's not going to be anywhere. He's on the FNG Podcast right now, episode 10, fng.podbean.com. Go check that out. Once again, signing out 30 and 1, uh, 30 and 3 with one plant. Love you guys forever. Bye.